Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Got some uh, pretty exciting Tesla news today. A new track mode package has been released for the Model 3 along with uh, some people getting a preview of a track mode V2. Model Y interior, we have our first pictures and uh, dag nabbit, it looks good. I think it looks better than the Model 3 and I wanna show you why and for a little cherry on top. We've got a bit more information on the big changes coming to autopilot and what that could mean for reverse summon, which sounds just as wild as it is. So drop a like if you're excited for this video. It does seriously help me out, means a lot, and of course hit subscribe so you stay up to date. Yeah, you on Tesla News. First up, just wanna cover this one because it just dropped as I was making this video and uh, it's actually pretty cool looking. So if you were lucky enough to purchase a Performance Model 3. Now this is the only Tesla with track mode and it was a pretty cool feature that allowed you, if you had a track to go to, to take your car there and it would optimize it for performance in that setting and turn us some other features, say Safety-wise, it'd probably help you if it was like wet or something. Today, Tesla invited, I think, a couple of YouTubers out to check out Track Mode V2, and you get a whole new interface. You can individually adjust a bunch of different settings. You can now really carefully, in the car software, tune the stability and regen and handling, and there's like literal sliders to do that. Here's a screenshot uh, from this video. I'll leave the full one linked down below. It's actually pretty interesting. As I was recording this, Everything Apple Pro's video came out. Uh, a great guy who everybody should be subscribed to on YouTube. So check out his video down below. Uh, he got an early hands-on, which is fantastic. Uh, kind of makes me want to get a Performance Model 3 and just start, you know, drifting kind of zooming around the track, it's really impressive. But of course, while the 20 inch performance rims are really great for everyday use, they're not exactly made to be raced with, like they can do it, but that's not what they were made for. Tesla now offers a extremely, I should say an extremely expensive package, over five grand for new wheels and some other bells and whistles. Exact price coming in at $5,500, and here's what you're getting for this new package. You're getting four new 20 inch zero G performance wheels, new logo center caps, 20 lug nut cones, covers, some Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, four tire pressure sensors, one front and rear high performance brake pad, and one track focused brake fluid. Um, you know, it sounds like headlight fluid and I couldn't help but laugh even though it's completely different. Now to be fair here, this includes the installation of this on your vehicle as well and shipping to your local service center. So it's not as if it's you know, an Ikea type where you have to assemble it yourself. If you're into racing, this is uh, basically a dream come true because with the new software update, you're gonna be able to tune all these things to your desire. You can race the way you wanna race, put these super nice wheels on, get it installed, sort of free of charge when you buy the whole package. And uh, honestly, when you look at it that way, maybe 5,500 isn't too bad after all. The wheels themselves look like pretty stripped down versions of a Tesla tire. It doesn't look like they wanted any extra weight on there. There isn't really a hubcap, it's just a few lines, but in the right performance, situation, they look pretty sharp. And if your thing is racing, then I mean, you kind of have to get these right. Now moving on over to the Model Y, we've seen a lot of recent changes to these prototypes. Uh, and obviously Tesla has finalized things as they begin shipping out to customers in just a couple of weeks now. Somebody over on Twitter was able to get really up close and personal with one Model Y and take a look at the inside and some of the interior changes here. I'm gonna say it now. I think it is definitely better than the Model 3. And I'm over here being like, uh, I have a nice interior, but it could be a little bit better. For example, on the roof here, there is no middle beam in the car. It is just a, a beam like in the very front, like right over the driver's head, and then a beam all the way in the back. It looks really sharp and it's gonna give you and your passengers an absolutely stunning view of the sky above you. I want Tesla to bring this to all cars. I feel like this is just a natural evolution. The cars are just gonna keep getting better over time and we're starting to see the fruition of that in the Model Y. Second, big controversial change here. If you know anything about Apple products, uh, you know, Apple would never put this in their car, but USB-C standard ports here because on the Model 3 and other Tesla vehicles, we are looking at USB like 3.0, USB type A, it's just the, the normal one. This is optimized for the future of phones. And I can't blame Tesla for doing this. I'm actually really happy to see this. And I could definitely see Tesla switching to USB-C on new Model 3s whenever like the new version of that comes out this year as well. Possibly with some of those wild leaks that I covered a couple days ago, like 100 kilowatt battery, potential ludicrous mode, so on and so forth. And in the back, in addition to what will likely be a quote unquote cigarette lighter, it's like the in-car charging, I think 12 volt option uh, in the center console. You also get one now in the back. So you're 
passengers in the back, especially if you go for these seven seater arrangements or just people sitting in the fifth row, you've got something in the back so you can optimize charging everywhere in the car now. As I sit back here, guys, I'm like, should I have waited a year for the Model Y? Which I shouldn't have, but I mean, it's a good looking car. It's really sharp and I, I think this is gonna be the car for most people to buy. Now, of course, whether you're looking at Model Y, Model 3, Model S, X, Cybertruck, or everything else in between, one of the biggest things Tesla has been pushing that has honestly changed my experience in a vehicle, it's autopilot. Tesla has been working on a foundational rewrite of autopilot that they say is going to lead like the next wave of innovation for their autopilot software. Now, in addition to probably making autopilot more efficient and potentially safer, this is also going to include some new 3D labeling improvements, I assume, to what the cameras are seeing. Elon says he thinks really big improvements are gonna be seen whenever this new software comes out. And it's supposed to be soon. It's Elon time though. So, you know, I don't really know how soon this is gonna be. This though is mainly in response to a tweet from a user talking about reverse summon. So we all know what summon is. If you're in front of a grocery store, you can use your car. Although I've seen a couple horror stories with this and I'm still not 100% comfortable trusting it. Reverse summon is essentially just the opposite. And if you're like, what does that mean? Well, it means you would get out in front of the store and then your car would go find a spot because we know a new version of smart parking is coming where it already has like the parallel park and in some situations can pull into a spot for you but it's never been very good or reliable. With the rewrite at the foundation, this is supposed to enable things like reverse summon in Elon's words pretty quickly because there's some big changes happening underneath the surface. That's all the big Tesla news I have for you today. I mean, the company's still doing great. The stock went up a little bit today. Yay. I'll definitely keep you updated on more stuff in the future, but that's all for now. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one. Hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing well. I'll catch all of you in my next video.